hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be giving you guys a really quick tip on how to get rid of your college meal plan so real quick just about me i go i am a senior in school this senior i'll be a senior next semester and i still don't have a meal plan i got my meal plan canceled two semesters ago once i found out that i was allergic to just about everything i personally chose to stop eating meat i'm allergic to dairy allergic to shellfish I'm allergic to certain trees, I'm allergic to nuts. So like a lot of stuff I just can't eat and I can't risk my face swelling up looking like a freaking balloon because it has happened. So I, after, when, when I got that um, call from the doctor, when they got my blood work and they said I was allergic to, allergic to all that and that was the reason why my face was swelling up, I was like, okay, I gotta figure something out at school because I can't eat that stuff. Um, there's just it's not gonna be possible and i'm not gonna pay seventeen hundred dollars because that's how much my meal plan is and that's you know in college if you don't know if you're like a freshman or you're about to go to school thinking about it they force you well not force you they make you because you still gotta eat they make you it's like required to have a meal plan so you have these expensive meal plans and they have like they had the cheaper ones they were not even, not even really cheap the cheapest one in my campus is like 1500 but that's only for seniors so the basic one with all access is like 1700 which everybody gets so it's really hard to like if you don't eat food or if you don't eat or like want to buy your own food or cook your own food because that's the stage i am at now so i'm going to give you guys some really quick steps on how to get rid of your meal plan and i'm going to tell you i'm going to give you guys the steps i took okay so let's hop right into it so i was researching for a while and i was like there's got there's got to be a way. So I contacted financial aid and I was like, how can I get rid of this? And they told me I have to talk to disability. That's your that's your main step. So step one is to contact your disability office. When you contact them, they're gonna um you could do it online because you have to go. It's a form you fill out and they'll ask they'll ask you like what's the reason and like do you have like a disability um i personally if i was you look if you're like me and if you're allergic to everything that's what you could put just say you can't eat you can't eat because of allergies you can really just put allergies just put allergies on the form and you're good and they're going to call you because you're going to have to get an interview but like but every school is different by the way i had to do a phone interview where i, where I told them about it and i was like well, yeah, I talked to my doctor, and they didn't ask for a doctor note either, but I'm like, I talked to my doctor, and I got my blood work done, and I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. I had an allergy test. I can't eat the stuff on campus. Therefore, I will not be willing to, like, pay this much amount, this amount of money to not eat on campus. And, of course, they always say there's vegan options. They really try to keep you in these meal plans, y'all. I'm telling you, you just got to keep keep it keep talking don't let them like tell you that yeah they don't have that many vegan options also on campus and i'm like there's not even that many there's not even like vegan restaurants near me so that was not happening i had to cook my own food and once i got approved um they said they was going to update it which they did and they canceled it for next semester because it was toward the end of the semester when i did that and i for and now i'm on the exempt list so Every semester they add it, but they I just gotta let them know because they keep forgetting. I'm like, oops, that's not that's not supposed to be on there. I got my meal plan exempt, so I'm not supposed to have one. And it's that simple. You legit can say allergies, guys. If you want to cook your own food, if you want to save money and cook your own food, um, you can still. I, I think every school also do the bucks. You can buy the bucks if you want to and use that. You could just pay for your food if you want. But if you're like me and you'd rather cook your food, and also it's healthier food off camp. Like when you cook your own food, is always healthier. College food is not healthy at all. They have restaurant stuff that's not healthy. So. I definitely recommend, well, not to say recommend, because you still got to eat on campus, you know. It's you. It's a way that they give you good tips on college on how to eat healthy on campus. But I'm, like, like me, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, so I couldn't risk it. So I had to do it. So step one is called disability service. Step two is to state your problem. If you don't have one, you can just make up one and get that thing canceled. Um, allergies is like the number one thing I would just say just say allergies and you could just say like they'll they ask me like what happens to me when it happens I'm like well my face swell up my tongue like I have epony pins this is real I have epony pins because my tongue can swell up and cough and stop breathing so I have to, that's just me I have to have that I didn't think it was going to go through because 
I'm like, allergies? I was like, this is this not, I don't think this is a disability. That's not like counting with a disability, but they took it because I'm like, I'm not paying for it. I was so strict. Guys, you got, in college, you got to put your foot down, guys. You got to say what you're not going to do. I'm already trying to fight all these other, like, these other charges. When I'm on campus, it's a lot of stuff I don't attend. So I'm like, why am I paying for all this stuff? Why am I staying paying for like a student athletic fee if I don't go to the games? But like, I'm like, I'm going to start going because they charge it for it. But yeah, that's just a quick tip, guys, on how to get your meal plan removed. It's very simple, but it might not be simple for everybody. Um, like I said, allergies is the number one thing you can say. I think if you don't have anything and you just want to cancel that and cook your own food, definitely say you're allergic to a lot of stuff because a lot of people are allergic to foods. Like, that's why people go plant-based. I'm trying to go plant-based, by the way, too. And that's not going to be easy. So, yeah, very simple, guys. And that's a really good tip if you're trying to get your meal plan removed. You know, I think there's another way you can... Um, uh, I just say me personally like the food situation getting your meal plan removed. It's really not. It's not. It's like it's not easy because they say you have to have it, but I'm like you really don't if you don't want it. But they just don't want you to starve. But it's like I wish they had cheaper meal plans because that will also help me. I'm like I wouldn't mind keeping it if you had cheaper meal plans. But seventeen hundred dollars for like a meal plan for every semester is just not working when I'm not eating seventeen hundred dollars worth of food. I'm not eating that much food. If they had more options, I would rather keep it. But no, I was only eating the sal I was only eating at the salad bar and their bean burgers, like the vegan bean burgers. That was it. So yeah, that wasn't happening. So I got that canceled. So yeah, that's a good tip, guys. If you want to get it removed, say you got allergies. There we go. Real simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.